Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back and I welcome all of you to another part of Super Smash Brothers The World of Light. Also Ultimate. I always wanna ignore the Ultimate in the title, but it's necessary because otherwise it would be just the first Super Smash Brothers. So we are here at Master Batch and no we are not fully back to the very beginning because there's something else here. Because we have explored a whole lot up there already. So why not go down here and Unle uh, unravel some things that are in the fog. Sticky floor immunity might be helpful against Master Belch. Ready? Go! Also, one of my favorite Earthbound themes is playing in the background. So, boom, explosions, kicks, more explosions, and kicks. Dropping a bomb there. And my defense is down. What an annoying piece of... No! Okay, that's not what I wanted to do here. Boom! There you go. Dropping one here. Ah, not fast enough. Come on. Something happened. Oh, my defense just went down. I was confused, I thought. Did someone get a final smash? Nobody did. Not gonna lie. I oh, you had the star. There you go. And give me that star thing. Because I'm a thrower. Boom! There you go. Using missiles to your best extent. Or rockets, actually. Whatever, it worked for us. Beautiful, I like that. Unravel the darkness clouds. Ah, iridescent glint beetle, I remember you. That's not a difficult fight. So, I basically could take whatever, I wanna up Andy a little bit. You probably already saw it, but the enemy tends to avoid conflict. That's the only thing that makes this fight somewhat difficult, is that exact reason. Because it's just running away and that's what makes this a lot difficult. But with the Ore Club, if you have it in your availability, just use it. It makes this super easy. And... Let's open the pinch! So, I wanna go down here because it has a treasure chest and I'm always in favor of treasure chests, so give that to me please. More spheres, we're gonna deal with that later on. Open that up please because I wanna have whoever was down here, because I don't remember that. It is Olima! Now uh, here's a character that was fun to fight with, actually, let's go with the Ore Club. They're easier to defeat with the Ore Club, totally honest. Hiya Olima, and boom! Sorry, I didn't I didn't hit you with the Ore Club itself, but whatever. Boom! There you go. Because the Ore Club itself deals so freaking much damage. And then there is the tornado afterwards as well, so Ore Club is an extremely useful item to defeat all the Smash Fighters if you want to get them easily. And now we have Olima, and now of course I feel obligated to fight as him. So let's go around and switch to Olima. Ready? Go! Okay, let's fight against Alfie with Olima. Something that sounds like a good combination, I guess. There you go, half. Ooh. Why did you get so much power in? You threw me up there extremely high. Boom! Get out of here! I'm not taking any of your crap. Brittany, that's because why. Well, whatever, we have now gravity change immunity in our disposal, which is good to have. 
think D for that. We wanna go up here. Uh, you shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, sure, let's do Paragon. Thousand Meteor, Lipstick, Landing Leg, Impact Run. Since you favor dash attacks, I made myself a dasher that attacks while running. See? I don't even need to attack you, I just dash through you. Ouch, okay? You have a bike. That's something different and it does not count for anything that we're doing right here. Ouch, stop dashing into me. I, I'm gonna have to use my little bean boys. Well, oh, carrot boys, since they are called Pikmin after the... Pick pick carrots. It's my little carrot boys, not bean boys. I'm sorry. Wrong. Vegetable. And completely different uh, vegetable group at that as well. That was nice. Well, beautiful. Charging Chuck. An annoying fight if it's one of the first fights you take, but we're doing good. We're getting better with the spirits that we have in our disposal. So. Um, yeah, why not? Let's, let's go get you real quick. Lipstick, landing leg. Let's go with the drill. Ready? Go! So let's shoot that. Just so that it doesn't do anything for us. Nope, you're not gonna get that star. Boom! And just in case you wanna know, you're also not getting that star. Boom! If there are fights where the enemy is easily distracted by items, just try to go for the items yourself. It will make the fights extremely easy. Most of the times, there are some fights where that doesn't help you at all. So, no, that's not the way I wanted to go. I wanna go up here. Don Bongo! Let's deal with you. And that's gonna be the last fight we're gonna take this time. Impact run, lipstick, bob on. Ready, go! Bomb! The movement speed is down. But I don't care about that. I have Pikmin. I'm gonna throw them at you. Come over here. Boom! Come over here, come down, boom! It's my blue carrot boy, I always want to say bean boy, but they're not beans! Don't mess with the Pikmin! So, just real quickly, because I said this was gonna be the last fight. Oh, it was you, okay, then we already have you, good. Then, I say we've done everything I wanted to do up here then. Yeah, we got the fighter, we got Olima. So next thing, we're gonna go and fight against Farfetch'd and take away down there, up and around. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to get the last few fighters up there. So I'm gonna say, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, how about leaving a comment down below? I really will appreciate that. I hope to see all of you to the next part of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World. Well,